In this video, we're going to be showing you what you need to do in order in order to request a speech on EasySpeak. So once you've logged into EasySpeak, you're going to be on the Sheffield Speakers homepage that looks something like this. Now, the first thing that you need to do is just scroll down here and then underneath the next meeting section, click on view meeting. This doesn't mean that you want to necessarily speak at the next meeting, but for some reason, uh, in order to actually get the, the bit you need to request a speech, you need to be on this page here. So once you've loaded up a meeting page, on the left-hand side, you should now have a tab that says My Participation. And the second option down on this thing is re Request a Speech. So all you need to do is click on Request a Speech, and it's going to open a pop-up box that looks something like this. So the first thing it's going to ask you for is the speech title. Now, you don't have to do this now because most people don't know what the title of their speech is going to be when they're booking the speech in. So you can ignore this for now. You don't need to put anything in there. The second thing you need to do, which is actually really important, is to select the workbook and the speech that you're doing. So on here, you can have a list of all the different pathways that you might have chosen from. So let's assume that the pathway that you have chosen is dynamic leadership. I'll click on dynamic leadership and then it's going to open up the curriculum for that pathway. And then depending on what speech you're doing, you simply select it on the left hand side. And it will bring it up like that. The next thing you need to do is now say what preferred dates you have for doing this speech. So if you go to the preferred dates tab. And what it will show you, it will show you a list of all the upcoming meetings and it will tell you how many speakers are already booked in at each of these meetings and what slots are available. So we can see here that the meeting on the 28th of August is already full because there's three speakers. The meeting on the 11th of September, there's four speaking slots, but only one has been taken so far. So if you wanted this to be your first choice, then you would say, yep, this is my first choice. The meeting on the 25th of September, there's a humorous speech and table topics contest. So you don't want to request your speech there because that's actually a contest that's taking place. But the one on the 9th of October is not a contest and there is some speaking slots available. So you could say that that's my second option. You don't actually have to choose second and third options, but it does help um, me in my role as the vice president of education, just in terms of allocating the speeches out so I can see what dates people prefer to do and what, what dates they don't prefer to do. So once you've selected your speeches, uh, your workbook and your dates, all you need to do is click on save at the top. And then that's gonna fire off an email to me and somebody else in the committee, and we can now log in and approve that speech for you. And, and once the speech has been approved, then you're gonna get an email to say, yeah, they've approved your speech and this is the date that it's happening. If you've got any questions on that, if anything doesn't make sense, please just let us know, reach out um, and we'd be happy to help.